Hi, today I want to show you how to start your encaustic painting. And we start with making the color. I have already prepared here a little bit of paraffin wax. It comes in little granulate. A little bit of bee wax to give it a good consistency. And I'm using a pastel oil color which uh, gives really nice colors. You can also use any kind of pigmented colors. Just have to add a little more wax, maybe. Now we wait till that is melting. I'm using a hot plate for graphics to do my uh, warming up. So here you see what it looks like when it's fully melted and you can already start with using it. So wax color is good for almost any surface. You can use it on uh, wood, you can use it on uh, canvas. So now that we saw how to make the colors, I have the blocks prepared here. I want to show you what you use for it. I use different kind of spatulas and uh, different shaped iron uh, brushes that you use with a pan. You just exchange the tip of the pan and it heats so you can work the metal. And one of the little irons here, very useful. You can use it either on the foiled carton, which uh, comes in different sizes and uh, shows the colors really bright. You don't see any brush strokes, or you use it on canvas, heat it up, paint it with a brush, or you use it on wood, which makes a rather rough image with the wax painting. So um, you cover the area where you want to work. Always have some paper and have the iron or the pen heated. I just want to show you a very small little painting. I got the colors ready. I got the iron heated. What I do now is apply the color on the hot iron. And then go in a quick motion over the carton. When you change color, clean the iron. The way how you use the iron defines what your picture will look like. Soft strokes give a soft image. Side strokes give little grasses or stroke images. If you lift the iron very quick, it makes an image like this. Just apply a little bit of more color and do it all over. So now we add a little red if I find. So, if you use just the tip of the iron you can kind of draw lines.
you don't want the colors to mix, you will have to work really, really fast and with very few pressure. Else, you get a melted color that mixes in a very specific way. So that's the main techniques for using the hot iron and uh, I hope you're going to try out. <laughs>